everyone, welcome back to Dad's Liquor Cabinet. Today we're bringing you a cocktail from one of our favorite dining places in all of Walt Disney World, and that's Victoria and Albert's. Now this is a rich, decadent version of a Manhattan. It's actually served in a rocks glass, so it's a new take on it altogether. Now this cocktail and its ingredients are pretty extravagant, but that's what you would expect with Victoria and Albert's. Before we do anything, we're gonna need to infuse our whiskey with bacon. Now that seems pretty involved, but I guarantee anybody can do this in their own house. It does take a couple days, so for this video, I went ahead and infused mine already. But you can find the instructions for this process in the description below. For this cocktail, we're gonna need a mixing glass, a jigger, a bar spoon, a julep strainer, a mixing tin, and a hawthorn strainer. To do this cocktail right, we need to start with the garnish. So we're gonna go in the kitchen and make some bacon. The garnish for this drink is brown sugar candied bacon. Now that sounds amazing. I'm gonna walk you through how we make it. Now to prepare the bacon, you need to measure out a quarter cup of firmly packed brown sugar. We're gonna go ahead and put that in our prep dish. Now we're gonna add a dash of chili powder. We're gonna take a fork and just mix it in. Now this mixture is enough for two pieces of bacon. So we're gonna go ahead and get our bacon and add it to the prep dish. Now you wanna make sure this is evenly distributed. Makes it a little bit easier. Looks good. We're gonna take our piece of bacon and Firmly padded in there, make sure it's well coated. All right, this one's done. We're gonna go ahead and put this on our prepared baking rack. Now that our bacon's prepared, we're gonna go ahead and place this in a preheated oven at 400 degrees for 20 minutes. The bacon's been cooking for 10 minutes. We're gonna go ahead and take it out and flip the bacon and then coat the top part again with that brown sugar chili powder mixture. We should only need to cook it for another 10 minutes and our garnish will be ready. Now it's time to start mixing our cocktail. We're gonna add two dashes of Angostura bitters directly into our mixing glass. Our next ingredient is maple syrup. Now I highly encourage you try to get some barrel aged maple syrup. Today we're actually using Pappy Van Winkle's barrel aged maple syrup. Now for those bourbon enthusiasts out there, this is the cream of the crop, the best bourbon you can get out there. And I just love the flavor of this maple syrup that's been aged in their barrels. We're gonna go ahead and grab our jigger and we're gonna measure out a quarter ounce of maple syrup. Next is our bacon infused whiskey. Now for this whiskey, we're using Whistle Pig 10 year, which is exactly what they use at Victorian Alberts. We're gonna measure out two ounces of this. Time to add ice. Now it's really important to try to use high quality ice because that's a part of your cocktail. It's an ingredient you're introducing into it. Make sure it's good and make sure it's high quality. We're gonna take our bar spoon and mix it. We're gonna mix it for about 15 to 20 seconds. Now we're gonna take our cocktail and place it aside and grab that mixing tin. Now for our next step, we're gonna be making a port foam. Now this port is gonna replace the traditional sweet vermouth found in a Manhattan. This is a pretty unique ingredient, it's called fee foam. Now we're gonna add four drops of this into our mixing tin. It's gonna give you that perfect velvety texture to the port. Next, we're gonna measure out one ounce of ruby port. We're gonna do a dry shake with this, which means we're not gonna add any ice. We're just gonna put the top of the tin on and shake vigorously for about 20 seconds. Go ahead and free up the top of your mixing tin. Looks great. Now we're gonna grab a cordial glass and we're gonna strain the foam through our hot horn strainer and pour it directly into this. Grab our cocktail glass, which is a rocks glass. Add a nice cube of ice. Grab our julep strainer. Pour the cocktail directly over the ice. Now we're gonna take our bacon, which we thread on a toothpick and place that directly on top of your cocktail. Next step and last step is to pour the foam directly on top of your cocktail. And here you have the Maple Bacon Manhattan from Victorian Alberts. Now it's time to give this cocktail a taste. I love the layering on top, so you can definitely see that the port is kind of staying up on top. I'm gonna to mix it in just a bit, just kind of give that incorporated flavor. Here we go. 
Oh my gosh. This is really good. Now, like I said, this is a rich, decadent drink with the bacon flavors, the maple syrup, and the port. You have a lot of complexity here, and I really enjoy it. This definitely is not a refreshing drink. It's definitely gonna be a drink that, uh, it's a drink you get to enjoy over a few courses of your meal. So what do you think? Are you gonna try making the Maple Bacon Manhattan from Victorian Alberts? If so, comment below, let us know, give us a thumbs up, and of course, from our magic family to yours, enjoy. Thank you.